Hey everybody, it's the Big Llama here. This is the Big Llama Show. Um, I hope you guys noticed that um, my surroundings have changed a little bit. Got a microphone, uh, got some lighting in the back, courtesy of my son. Uh, hey, the channel's developing, the channel's changing. So uh, thank you for joining the Llama Nation. Anyway, I'm here to talk about the top gangster movies. We're going to rank them, we're going to do a little tear maker, we're going to do a quick video. Uh, stay tuned. Senna, hit me with my theme music. Yeah, it's in the uh, she ruckus Dead beat, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, uh, you ain't a killer boy, stop. I hear you yelling stacks on deck. Alright, buddy, welcome back. Welcome back to the Big Llama Show. Uh, like I said, we're gonna do a quick tear maker. Uh, we're gonna look at the the all-time greatest gangster movies, uh gangster mafia hood movies, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we got a whole list of them. Now, I'm not going to get into a lot of specifics on the movies, uh, sort of give you an idea of what what I would rank as my, my, my best movies um, or the movies that I like the most. And there's obviously some on this list that I haven't seen, so I'll categorize those as well. All right, let's get right into it. Let's take a look at the, um, let's take a look at the tier maker list. All right. First, let's start off by, you know, looking at some of the movies, like right off the bat, let's just talk about the movies that I haven't seen. All right, let's start first by looking at the movies that I that I really probably haven't seen. So if I see a movie in here in this in the list, I'll put it right away into the uh, not never seen. Um, the way we're ranking them is the uh, all time greats, A plus. We got classics at A minus. Excellent uh, is a B. Just okay is about a B minus. Meh, C, whether you watch it or not, doesn't matter to me. And uh, you're gonna have D for trash, and then F is a complete dumpster fire. And then, uh, of course, we'll categorize those that I've never seen before. All right, so let's take a look real quick. Um, let's start with this one here. And first uh, up, we got Boys in the Hood. Now, um, you know, in the term gangster movie, I mean, this is a certified classic. Um, but when you're ranking it against some of the all time greats, um, for right now, I'm going to give it a B for excellent. It's still a great movie. Um, it has some very, very, I mean, gripping scenes. One of my favorites. But again, it's not, it's not the all-time greatest, but it is an excellent movie. So remember, a B is not a bad rating. All right, let's look at this next one here. We got Snatch. Now, I know a lot of people like this movie, and there's a lot of comedic elements in it. But for me, Snatch was eh. So it gets a C rating for me. All right, The Town. Um, the Town was a good movie, but it just wasn't the greatest movie. So I'm going to give that one a B-. minus. To me, it's just okay. Now, Blow. Blow is a great movie. It's an autobiographical autobiography movie, um, but again, um, it's more in line with the, the drug movies, and which which were pretty good. Um, but I would give it a just okay. It, it didn't blow me away, haha, <laughs> pun intended. Um, but um, it, it just wasn't as memorable as some of the others on this list. All right. Next, we got a Bronx Tale. Uh, Bronx Tale is to me a classic. Um, when I when I first watched Bronx Tale, I wasn't sure what to expect, and as I've repeated, uh, I've had repeated viewings of this movie, and it does get better with time. So I'm gonna give it a classic. Now I might move it down to a B, and a few if I start having you know some issues with some of the other movies I see here. Um, okay, the next one, The Godfather. I mean. Where else but the all-time great would that be? I mean, The Godfather is an A-plus all-time greatest movie uh, for sure. Uh, next we have, um, I'm, I'm going to grab Boogie Nights right here. And as much as I like Boogie Nights, it's not really a gangster movie. So um, I'm going to put it under the category of meh because it doesn't really fit the criteria. It probably fits a different, um, a different genre. And I'm not sure why it's on this tier maker list, but that's okay. Uh, we'll go from there. All right, let's grab another one here. I'm seeing Casino. Casino's tough. I'm going to put it as a classic. It's not an all-time great, um, but it is, a, it, is, it is a classic movie. So we'll go with, with uh, Casino as a classic. Uh, I'm going to grab another one here. The Dark Knight. Um, it's not a gangster movie. Uh, I'm going to put it in the never seen category. In fact, I'm going to grab Boogie Nights and put it in the never seen category. I, I don't know why they're on this list, but okay, let's move on. Uh, Juice. 
Juice falls in line with, I would say, just okay. It's a good performance by Tupac, but uh, for me, um, it's just okay. It's a good, memorable movie. I love the movie. I've watched it over and over again, but um, when you're looking at this ranking, it's, it's just not there. All right, New Jack City. New Jack City, uh, to me, is a classic. Now, it blends lots of elements, and it's one of those movies that can fit both in the in the mobster gangster genre and in the hood movie genre. So, uh, New Jack City gets a classic for me, A minus on that one. Next one, and I, I'm kind of lumping Boys in the Hood and Menace to Society sort of neck and neck. I think Boys in the Hood, Boys in the Hood, is the better movie, but uh, Menace to Society was, was uh, to me, was just shocking. Some of the stuff that you saw in that movie and some of the things that they depict. Uh, supposedly real life, you know, that, that to me is uh, uh, something that was great. So, all right, now there's a lot of things on this list, so we're gonna we're gonna skip right through. Um, we're gonna get to some of the more well-known movies. Um, let's talk about Carlito's Way. I see Carlito's Way is here. Um, Carlito's Way is an excellent movie. It is not a classic, but it is a good movie. Um, Pulp Fiction. See, that's a tough one. Pulp Fiction to me is a classic movie i don't know that it falls in the realm of gangster movie but there are gangster elements in it so um we'll, we'll put that one in under the classic and let's see what else we got here okay we have the other godfathers but before we get to that i want to grab my all-time favorite movie scarface oops i put it in the mac category and that's not good scarface is an all-time great for me a plus so follow along here let's see what we got um all right, we got Jackie Brown. Uh, Jackie Brown, I think, is excellent. Uh, no, it's just okay. Again, not it's it's memorable, but there's some things in it that I, I that just didn't jive well. Um, Godfather Part Two, that to me is an all-time classic. So Godfather and Godfather Part Two, uh, both belong there. Both the the rare back-to-back -back win on that one. Um, let's see, the Warriors. Well, The Warriors is a gang movie, so you say gangster movie, but The Warriors, and I'm sorry for those of you who are Warrior fans, it's a D, straight trash. Uh, I'm sure it was nostalgic, and I'm sure there are elements of it. I'm just not a fan of The Warriors. Sorry. Um, Gotti, Dumpster Fire. That's with John Travolta. Terrible, terrible movie. Don't see it for sure. Um, we got Mean Streets. Mean Streets to me is an excellent movie. You got um, Robert De Niro in that one. It's a classic. You got American Gangster. That's another excellent one. Denzel Washington in that one. Um, love that movie. Goodfellas. Okay, this is the tough part because Goodfellas and Casino are always neck and neck. But I'm going to put Goodfellas up there with one of the all-time greats. So, so far my all-time greats, I got The Godfather, Godfather Part 2. Um you know Scarface and then Goodfellas um, so so far so good not a whole lot of trash in here so far but I'm getting to some of the stinkers in a second um, let's see we've got the untouchables the untouchables to me is a it's an excellent movie I was gonna put it in the just okay category um, but you know Robert De Niro as uh, Al Capone in that one is great great performance by him on that one all right, let's see. True Romance. I know it's highly regarded, but True Romance, to me, um, falls into the category of meh. Sorry, Quentin Tarantino. I know it's your, your first written movie, but uh, not the greatest movie. Um, okay, Quentin Tarantino classic. You got Reservoir Dogs. All right, that one. That one, we're going to put it in the uh, classic category, A-. minus. Okay, that's a great, great movie. Nice sort of, uh, you know, action flick there that uh, just had a lot of intrigue. Um, okay, here's the tough one. Because Godfather Part 3 is a great movie. It's a good movie. But because it loses a lot of the um, luster of the first two, it's going to be in the just okay category. It's a B-. minus. Um, and again, not having Tom Hagen in the movie really doesn't do it any service so uh anyway let's move on let's see what else we got here and we got the original scarface which uh which is a classic 
I'm going to put that under excellent. I enjoyed that movie very much. I don't remember a whole lot of it right now. Um, Colors. Oh my God. Colors is a classic. A minus. So as you can see, my tier maker is sort of in the A minus B category. We've got, you know, uh, got quite a bit of movies in there. Uh, and so far, four all time greats. And then just okays are coming in with another four there. And then Gotti's the one dumpster fire so far. Uh, Road to Perdition, meh, it's okay. Even though Tom Hanks is in it, meh, it's okay. Uh, let's see. In Bruges, that's another one where you know it falls in the meh category. It's funny, it's okay, but uh, I don't, I don't, I didn't find that humor funny. That In Bruges and, and Snatch were sort of kind of the same types of movies to me. Um, the Departed. Now, The Departed to me falls under falls under just okay. It's a B minus. Still a good movie. I enjoyed it very much. I liked Leonardo DiCaprio's performance and I love the twist ending, but it was okay. It was just okay. Not my favorite. Uh, let's see here. There's a couple movies I'm going to knock out the list. There's a, I'm just going to start putting in Sexy Beast. I've never seen Layer Cake. Sorry, I've never seen that. Heat. Heat's another one that it's controversial here. It's just okay. It's just okay. Now I, I have to tell you, I did sleep on Heat. I didn't. I didn't see it uh, right away, and people talked about it a lot. Uh, and when I did watch it, I just wasn't as impressed. Maybe that's because there was just more that people were saying it should have been. But anyway, um, let's round it out here. Copland was was meh. I wasn't too thrilled with that one. Gangs of New York, I give that one a trash. I didn't like Gangs of New York. I'm sorry. I know it won awards. Desperado, I don't see why Desperado is out here, but Desperado is just okay. It, the um, El Mariachi is probably a better movie, at least from a, from a discussion perspective. Um, and then you've got The Irishman, I'm sorry, The Irishman is straight trash. Um, slow, long, boring, and it did not need the digitizing effects. Um, it just took away from the movie. Again, I, you may not agree with my list. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uncut Gems. Believe it or not, I have not seen Uncut Gems. And I'm a big Adam Sandler fan, and I, 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 I'm going to do a review for that one. Um, the Usual Suspects. Aside from the twist ending, it's just okay. It's just okay. It's a B minus for me. Uh, Baby Driver. I thought that Baby Driver. I thought Baby Driver was an excellent movie. Now there's obviously some holes in that movie, but I thought that movie really surprised me. So I uh, give that a B for an excellent category. So there's a newer movie moving up in the ranks there. Uh, Training Day. Training Day is. Uh, an excellent movie. I love Training Day. Love Denzel Washington. That very believable performance. Um, I don't really care for Ethan Hawke, um, but believable performance right there. Let's see what else we have. Collateral. Meh. I know people say it's good, but uh, not really sure. Uh, Paid in Full. I have not seen, so I won't lie. I won't tell you. I think it was a great movie. Uh, I didn't see it. Um, let's see if there's any other other good movies on this list here. Uh, Leon the Professional. Okay, again, that one gets a lot of love. Uh, it's just okay for me. I'm sorry. Just okay. You got Lock, Stock, and uh, Two Barrels, or whatever, how many barrels? Meh. It goes with Snatch and Bruges. Those, all those movies sort of came out around the same time. I wasn't really into them. Um, don't know why Kill Bill is in here, but to me, Kill Bill, they're, they're both classics, but I, I, they don't think they belong in this list. Um, they're not really gangster films, I don't think. Uh, Lost Dog, I've never seen. And The French Connection. Oh, love The French Connection. That's the chase sequences. That is a classic. Um... All right, I think I think that's it for our list. There's a couple others on here. Bad Lieutenant, Clockers, I didn't see, so I'm sorry. Uh, and if I did see it, I don't remember it. Um, so, all right, I think we'll end on that note. 
Um, so again, let's just recap what we got here. Uh, all time greats, we got four movies. Again, this is in my opinion. You got The Godfather, Godfather 2, Scarface, and Goodfellas. Uh, under classics, you got everything from The Bronx Tale, you got New Jack City, Casino, Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction. You got two Tarantino movies in there. Uh, Colors, excellent, excellent movie in The French Connection. Under Excellent or B, you've got Boys in the Hood, Menace to Society, Carlito's Way, Mean Streets, American Gangster, The Untouchables, The Original Scarface, Baby Driver, and Training Day. Just okay. Yeah, that's where I have the most movies there. The Town, Blow, Juice, Jackie Brown, The Godfather 3, The Departed, Heat, Desperado, Usual Suspects, Leon, Meh, you got Snatch, In Bruges, Lock, Stock, and whatever, Many Barrels, True Romance, Copland, and Collateral, and Road to Perdition. Under Trash, I put The Warriors, uh, Gangs of New York, and The Irishman. The Dumpster Fire is gaudy. That's a terrible, terrible movie. And then under Never Seen, I, I put The Dark Knight and Boogie Nights only because those two don't probably don't belong as gangster movies. Um, and then there was these other movies that I have not seen, and I, I won't get into them. So that's my list. Um, again, it, I'm, if I put it under just okay, it's still a B minus. It's still a good movie. It doesn't mean I don't like the movie. Um, it just means that you know when you're comparing it to the all-time greats, it's going to be a pretty difficult task. So um, okay, so that's my tier maker list. Um, let me know if you agree with that list. Let me know what, what you think in the comments. Uh, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. I appreciate you joining me here on the uh, the new Llama Studios. Um, you know, again, uh, I appreciate everyone's love. Um, give the channel a like and subscribe. If you like what you've seen here, I've got more content on the way. And we'll be doing more interviews. Hopefully, we'll do another interview with my boy AD, uh, hopefully later on this week. All right. Thank you for stopping in. This is the Big Llama Show. Peace out. Yeah, I tell her, baby, you're the one for me. Never two unless you're telling me you feel it too.